golf cart here. I'm not sure on the year, but it's a club car. The owner, he got a C10. He want me to paint it same color as the C10. And the C10 is two-tone. It's gray and black with a red stripe on it. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the red stripe, but I might put it with this pinstripe at right now. He got some custom wheels he got too. They chrome right now. He want me to paint them black and red also. And this top here, thinking about painting it black and put a flat clear on it. But we finna go ahead and get it in the booth and start taking everything apart. Thinking I'm driving a car, I'm reaching for the gear shifter. <laughs> Got it in. First off, I'm gonna take this top off first. Then I can go ahead and take this back section off. Then I take the front. Well, here go the wheels I was talking about. Let me see. Look like they some 12 inches. The tire size is 215 35 12. Let me show you something here. I don't need lights. I haven't figured out how to take them off yet, but I seen where whoever put these lights in, they didn't cut it well. And you can see the jacket is there. I'm gonna try to clean it up. I'm gonna put some fiberglass filler right there. Try to clean it up so it'll be cleaner than that there. I got a pencil mark showing where I need to clean it up at. Also over here, you can see where they didn't cut it right. Try to clean that up also. Taking apart as you can see. Also, I need nuts and bolts. I like to put them back in place where they need to be. So at the end, I won't be trying to search what go where. And these here, I'm just going to label this and put them in a the bag. When I'm painting stuff, I like to take everything apart because you get a better paint job. Plus, with this here, since I took everything apart, I ain't got to do no masking. I can, I can just paint this here separate. This here, 
and the top. I ain't got to do no masking. Might take a little while taking it apart, but it'll be worth it in the long run. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take all the stuff out, put everything in order. Then I'll start prepping everything what I need to paint. Just wanted to test fit the wheel first before I start painting on these. Yeah. Make sure everything bolt up and have plenty of clearance because he never test fitted them. Everything looking good so far. The front. Got plenty of clearance. It actually got more clearance than the factory wheel. Guess I'm gonna put this front cap back on. See how it look. Just got it sitting up there. Yeah, I think we good. I'm pretty sure the back will fit if the front got clearance. back in I done dried it off I was trying to come up with a way to hang it up to paint it instead of trying to paint it laying flat then I have to flip it over and paint one side at a time but I think I'm just gonna hang it up so I can just paint both sides at one time but the first step on doing this getting it prepped up to paint we have to sand it down we'll use this scotch brake the old 7447 we're gonna scuff it up with it then we'll be ready for our next step after that. We're gonna go ahead and get that started. Finished up on the sand and now I got it hung up. I found a way to hang it up so I can paint both sides without flipping it over. I'm finna go ahead and spray the adhesion promoter on this here so the paint will stick because this plastic PVC. This is what I'm gonna use here. It's Universal Plastic Adhesion Promoter by PPG. Go ahead and put that in my cup and I go ahead and spray it.
finish laying the plastic adhesion promoter. I'm gonna go a black. I'm gonna spray a black base coat. Then I'm gonna put a flat clear on top of it. I don't want it shine. I just want it flat. But I'm putting some protection on it by putting a flat clear on top of it. Let me go ahead and put that in the gun and go and spray it. coats of the jet black I think it laid down pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and put the flat clear on top of it now probably put about three coats of clear on it the clear go on wet but once it flash it dries flat There you have it. That I laid down the flat clear. Camera don't want to focus. But I think it laid down pretty good. Getting a glare too from the lights. I had changed my mind about going with this flat clear. I'm gonna go ahead and put a gloss clear on top of this here. solid clear it's just medium solid I just put some on it just to put a little protection on it the texture making it look kind of crazy I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry up then I start doing the body pieces Got the body pieces on the stands now. I'm gonna go ahead and get to these. First, we gotta clean them up though. As you can see, they're pretty dirty. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take them outside and clean them up. Bring them back in, then we'll get started. Got them cleaned up. Also, got my heat gun. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these pinstripes. Also going to remove this here because it's in bad condition. So I'm just going to remove it. And he's going to get a new one. But let me go ahead and remove these pinch types and I'll catch back on. Pinch types up. I did it with a combination of the heat gun, wax and grease remover. And a little putty knife. 
and a maroon scotch pipe. I did most of it with the heat gun, but some of it left some adhesive, and I had tucked the scotch spray with some wax and grease removal and start getting the rest of it up. But I still got some more adhesive on it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding with the 180, and if it don't clog my sandpaper up too bad, I'm just gonna use the 180 on the DA. That's what I'm about to do now. I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding everything down with the DA 180. Also got this up, at least most of it, but it still left some adhesive. I'm gonna try to sand it off though. I pretty much got this one here sanded down, just this little section back here. You can see this section still got a gloss on it, so you know I need to sand it some more, like up in here. I done dug everything off, so it's good to go. I told you 180 grit sandpaper on that last clip, but 180 would be kind of too aggressive, so I went with 320. Nah, this 180 here, I got some 320 somewhere. Got some 320 somewhere around here, though, but I went with 320. And also maroon scotch bright. The maroon scotch bright seemed to work a lot better than just the sandpaper on the DA. The only thing you're trying to do is do the surface off. I did some of it with 180, but like over here you can see it just left it left some uh, deep scratches, so it ain't gonna hurt nothing. It just I have to fill it with primer, which I'm gonna prime the whole thing anyway. But I just have to get them scratches out. 320 lead final scratches. Like this scotch right here. But it ain't no big deal though. Let me finish this up and I'll cut you back off. Both panels coming along now. I put some fiberglass fill in some of my imperfections and deep cuts I seen. It was a deep cut along here. Put some fiberglass filler there. You can use just regular body filler, but I, I had just used this bundle glass fiberglass filler because I was repairing these two spots that I had mentioned earlier, like this spot here where they cut out for the headlight. It wasn't a perfect cut, and you could see straight through that part there. Also, right here. So I had just used some fiberglass filler that I had left over. It's almost dry, but once it dry, I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down. Then I I finish this here, this panel over here, finish scuffing it up. Then I'll be ready to shoot some epoxy prime on it. Epoxy primer now. Got to sand it down. Knock down my little areas I had repaired. Little spots here and there. I still seen some more spots. I just get them once I prime it. I put some lightweight fill in them little spots. I'm gonna blow it off with the air holes. Then I wipe it down with some wax and grease remover. Then I shoot my epoxy prime on it.
I had a bad go around with the spray gun this thing, y'all. Spray way ain't perfect. I do get runs. But I don't mind getting runs in the primer because I got to sand it anyway. But this epoxy primer was just giving me fits. It was coming out like water. I don't know if it's the temperature or what. But you can see that run right there. I just got them all over. But it ain't no big deal because I'm finna shoot this high beer primer on top of it. And I can sand all the runs out with the high beer. Got some over here too. Got a big one down up in there. Let me go on and mix this high bill up. Go on and spray it. It went on a lot better than that epoxy. I ain't getting no runs in it. But I still got to sand out the runs that I had in the epoxy. Some of the air is still wet. I kind of built it up over here where them deep scratches was. I'm going to let this sit overnight. Come out here in the morning. Sand it on down. Seeing a few imperfections, like right there. Put some glaze and put it in them spots. Just the following day, I went on to wipe some glaze and put it on all my imperfections that I seen. Let me show you what glazing putty I used. It's the Evercoat polyester glazing putty, two part. I'm finna go ahead and spray a guide coat on it now. I'm gonna spray it on top of this, these little spots. It ain't gonna hurt. I'm just gonna use a can of black black spray paint. Or you could use some dry guide coat, but I'd rather use the spray paint. It ain't number 99 cent. And the guide coat is going to help me find all my low spots when I start wet sanding this. And it also let me know what I done sanded and what I haven't sanded. This guy coat, you just want to lightly mist it on. You ain't trying to put it on that heavy. You just need something to go by when you start sanding. I 
I just finished up putting some more prime on it. I had sanded all my low spots and my glaze and putty spots. I took care of all that. Also got my runs out. Everything good to go. I seen maybe two little spots. Like here. I'm just gonna put some bundle glaze and put on it. I ain't gonna worry about putting no two part put on it because it ain't no really big spot. Just a little minor imperfection. And I'm gonna use this here. Once I do that, I'm gonna put some more guide coat on it. Then I'll be ready to wet sand it. This is what I'm using the wet sand. I got a dirt block and some 400 grit sandpaper. I'm just using the block on the flat surface. And around the curves, I just use some sandpaper in my hand. But you want to get you some soap and water. I got a rag here. The rag can help you see what you done sand and not sand. It also, when you rub across them, Rough surface, you'll hear it. See, like right here, I done sanded this. Right here, I have it. Finished up on the wet sanding. I don't think I told you what color scheme I was gonna go with. But I'm gonna go with black down here. From this line down, then it's gonna be dark metallic gray up here, then it's gonna be black again. But I'm gonna split the black and gray up with a red pinstripe, eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the red on it first, then I mask the little red off with an eighth of an inch uh, pinstripe with a fine line tape. But it's all been wet sanded. You can see this little red glazing putty on a lot of spots. And just for little minor imperfections. One nothing big. I'm gonna wipe everything, everything down with some wax and grease remover. Then I'll shoot the red on it. I could use an airbrush, but I'm just gonna use my spray gun. I'm just going to make the pattern, a circle pattern, kind of dial it down some, because I don't need nothing but eighth of an inch. This is the red. I put three coats of red on it. That's what my pinstripe gonna be. It's gonna be an eighth of an inch. Stripe. I was trying to see if I wanted to put an undercoat clear over this. So I won't peel it up when I'm masking it. But I think I'm not. Because I'm going to let it sit overnight. I'm going to come back out here in the morning. And do the masking. Put my active end stripe on it. I think the uh, red base coat. Be done carried up by the end. It shouldn't peel up. Y'all wish me luck now. But we'll see. I was gonna spray this undercoat clear over that red. But I think I'm just gonna let it sit overnight and pray for the best.
It's what I use. Let me show you the front. I'm just gonna go back and make sure it's laid down good. Cause I don't want it coming up on me. I was gonna mask off. I want I wasn't sure if I was gonna paint the black first or the metallic gray first. But I think I'm gonna paint the black first. And I was gonna mask off the area I was gonna paint the gray, but I think I'm just gonna shoot the black and let the black get on the gray. And I just cover it up with the gray. I just put two coats of this dark metallic gray. It really covered in the first coat. I just went on to put another coat on it. Gonna let this go ahead and flash off. Then I come back out here and mask. I'm not mask it, but unmask it. And pray for the best. Hopefully I don't have nothing to pull up on me. I think it's gonna be alright.
turned out good. And they have no pillups at all. It's time for the clear nut. Once I take this off here, get all the metallics off of it. Nobody really gave a damn about us We never stopped